Hey guys, this is Lawrence from BuildMyEcommerce.com, and this is part two of the Nitro Pack video by iSense Labs. If you haven't watched the first part, you can click the link below this video that will provide you with general overview of Nitro Pack. In this video, I just want to talk more in depth about what goes on behind when you enable some of the settings in the Nitro Pack. So here I have the website with Nitro Pack disabled. And using the GT metrics, you can see the page load time of 4.7 seconds. Our goal is to bring this number down, preferably under 3 seconds. So here in the back end, I'm at the Nitro Pack dashboard. Let's look into the steps you need to take. First two are enable page caching and leverage browser caching. Information travels between client's browser and your web server in order to view the website. Caches sit between the web server and the client's browser. This results in quicker access to your web pages. Step 3 is gzip compression. Basically, gzip compresses your web pages and style sheets before sending them over to your client's browser. This can result in reducing the page size by up to 70%. Last two steps are minify CSS, JavaScript, and HTML. And minification removes unnecessary line of codes without sacrificing the functionality of the website. Conceptually, minification is similar to compression. The key difference is unlike code that has been compressed, however, code that has been minified can still be worked without the required extra step of decompression. This results in smaller file size. Now let's enable the Nitro Pack and retest the website using GT Metrics. So here is the gtmetrics.com. I'm just going to copy and paste the URL here and start analyze. And it's going to add the job to the queue and start fetching the site. And after that's done, it's going to analyze the Y slow and then the page speed. And once that's done, it will generate the final result. And here you can see the new page load time of 2.0 seconds which is a pretty big difference compared to the 4.7 seconds without the Nitro Pack installed. So if you're in a situation where you want to improve the page load time, uh, it might be worth a try to install this extension and give it a go. Uh, I hope you guys found this video helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for future videos. Thanks guys and take care.